Are you looking for a quick last minute gift for your book loving friends and family? Well look no further because in this video I'll show you how to make these page holders and bookmarks that make for great stocking fillers. Let's get into it. The first thing we need to do is mark out the shape of the page holder on some walnut. I started by drawing a line 4 inches from the end, a mark 2 inches from the end to show the halfway point, and then a line halfway into the width of the walnut to give me a nice center point for the page holder. I then connected the four points to form a diamond and drew a circle completely off center for comedy value. I left a cross in the dead center of the diamond so I knew where to drill for later. And using a square, I drew a line on the face of the piece so I could see where to cut when I took the piece to the mitre saw. Next step is to cut the piece down to size. I did this on the mitre saw, but you could do this on the table saw or by hand if you want. I got this digital angle finder for my birthday and I was just looking for an excuse to use it. I'm looking to set the table saw at 69 degrees, no really, or 21 degrees depending on how you look at it. And just eyeballing it, it looks pretty bang on to me. This cut caused a lot of smoke and burn marks on the walnut piece. This is because my blade is a little worn uh, and it's actually the original blade that came with the saw so it's about time I replace it. Walnut is known for easily burning, so you'll want to leave enough space to sand those burn marks off afterwards. Apologies for the blurry footage, but it's all I have and I need to show this. As we cut more off the piece, it becomes less stable, so I reattach the offcuts to the piece with some masking tape to try and maintain some stability. Next, I cut the piece down into slices where each slice is its own page holder. I added a stop lock at the base of the fence to give me about an inch wide cut, ensuring the piece is never in contact with both the stop lock and the blade. If they did contact at the same time, you'd be running the risk of some serious kickback and nobody wants that. With a couple of blank page holders made, it's time to get that thumb hole drilled. I find the center by drawing a line from tip to tip and then tip to tip and drill a pilot hole using my brad point bits. If I had a pillow drill to do this, I would use it, because getting these holes in at a 90 degree makes a difference. Doing it by hand meant that I was off on a couple of the blanks, so I had to discard two of the seven or eight that I got out of this piece. With the pilot holes drilled, I'm using a 25mm Forstner bit to carve out the hole. For some reason, I thought it would be a good idea to just hold the piece down by hand, but these Forstner bits don't mess around. If you're a fan of your fingers, clamp this piece down and then drill out the hole. Finally, some sanding. These page holders are going to be held so they need to feel amazing. So I sanded these down with 80 grit to get the burn off and then 120 grit to smooth off the flat bits and finally added some minor chamfers before finishing off with 180 grit to get it lovely and smooth. And yes, I swapped my orbital sander off camera after forgetting that the panel sander is no good at removing material. Here I'm sanding the inside ring with some sandpaper glued to an old curtain pole. A quick single layer of mineral oil to get the grain to pop is all it really took to finish off these little pieces. Next up is the bookmarks. It's a simple process, you just run the piece into the table saw and voila! The only thing to note uh, is to be conscious of the grain direction. You want this to be a rip cut and not a cross cut. If you cut across the grain, you'll end up with a bookmark that will shatter with minimal bending. No good that. I also don't have a zero clearance plate on my table saw, so I stop just short of a full cut through to keep the off cuts from falling into the blade and having to dig them out with the saw later. And here is the same story as the page holder, some sanding, a little mineral oil to finish, if that tickles your fancy. And that's it! These things have so much room for customization. you can add a hole in the bookmark for some decorative string, uh, you could make them fancier by combining some lighter wood into the mix, the point is to have some fun with these. All in all it took me a few hours uh, and they're really quite quick to knock out in bulk. 
I hope you all have a great end of a not so great year and you can spread a little joy with these gifts. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. I'm hoping sometime in 2021 I can start making a video a week. And I'll only do that if I can see that you're all enjoying the content. Have a good one. And this whole 2020 gave us the strength to see 2021 through. Take it easy and I'll see you next time.